So, uh, what uh, what do you think about the the change in the format for the Pac-12 tournament? Well, I think it, I, we I was there when we voted on it. I mean, I was one of the key guys in the room that that kind of fought for this format. Um, and the reason why was because my feeling was if you're first through fifth in our conference and you have a winning record, you probably should be in the the tournament whether you win two or lose two like Oregon did last year. And they were you know they were one of the uh, regional teams. Um, and let's say, for example, we win it. Let's say we run it and we win it at the eighth seed or um, Cal does at the ninth seed. Does that cost the four or five seed their their bid this year? So we all want to kind of protect the, the higher seeds. Okay. Um, now, in retrospect, is it, it's not going to turn out the way, um, gonna, not going to help us that way, but if we were able to get to the finals of, the, of, the, of this tournament, I feel like, we are a legitimate regional team. So the, not having the ability to lose a game and then bounce back from it, um, in hindsight, that would be a good thing to have, I guess, but not... Well, if it's double expense. elimination. Yeah. yeah. I think the, the, other, the other problem we had with the, the previous year, last year, was UCLA and Oregon State played games for five, six hours and, you know, 30 or 50 runs total mm -hmm. and beat up their teams, and they went to their regionals and were just not, not the same teams. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to get it where... You're guaranteed two games, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the most you can play is four. Okay. So you're kind of protecting yourself for the regionals too. Yeah. But in a case like yours, the first game, if you don't win that, it's pretty much it's over because you <laughs> couldn't advance uh, out of the pool. Does that mean you, yeah. you empty the tank for this first game? Oh, yeah. yeah. We were, we'll empty the tank for every game. Okay. I mean, this is It's win or go home pretty much for us. Um, I mean, there's maybe a mathematical way we could get one and one and get to the, the thing. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm, I'm we're running numbers now, um, but yeah, our our thinking is win tomorrow, and that's all we worry about. Now, with Aiden going, what are you hoping from him? Like from what you've seen, his last outing was not great against right. Stanford, but and and I don't think he did particularly well against ASU. But he has had some good right. ones in there. He's got he's got the best stuff um, that that we have available. Um, maybe the best stuff on our whole staff. He's got strikeout stuff, um, and so you know it's, he'll click if, if we you know we're gonna call pitches that we feel like are are, are his best pitches against these hitters, and uh, we're very excited that we were able to hold him off. Let's put it that way for the start, and then we'll have you know obviously hopefully things go well. If they don't, we'll have a plan for that also. Okay. Um, how much has uh, Nick? McClary's defense meant to you this year? Well, it's unbelievable. I mean, last year and this year, he's, you know, for me, um, he's the defensive player of the, of the year in the conference. Hopefully the uh, the coaches felt that way too. Um, he settles things down. I don't think you'll realize it as fans, to be frank with you, until he's not here. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully we'll be able to get somebody like him, whether it's Mason White next year, whether it's a uh, new player coming in. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a hard position to play as well as he's played. Do you see him as somebody with pro prospects? Yes. Based on that glove? No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. I mean, he hits enough, too. I mean, he's, his, his hitting has improved a ton. Um, he knows his swing really well now, mm -hmm. better than he has in the past. Um, and any time a guy can catch a ball like that, professional uh, managers and front office people like him. But just in general, the defense this year, considering how much the, the, hitters, the pitchers have been hit, yeah, having the defense that you've had has that kept it from being worse than it could have been. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah we're proud of our defense. We work on it a lot in practice, and um, we're, we 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 kind of hold them accountable for it. When we make mistakes, we, we call them out on it. So yeah, we're very proud of it. What progressions have you seen from Aiden over the course of this season? Yeah, I think um, like we talked about, I think um, Brian made a good point. It's you know he had did not pitch very well at Stanford, um, but. He's a stuff guy. If you've noticed, I'm, I'm not real um, keen on guys walking people. That's kind of been our mantra as a staff. And the one guy who has walked some guys is Aiden. But we leave him in there because he has the ability to pitch out of it with his stuff. So, um, you know, I think if we can get him calmed down and, and just let his stuff work, he's, he's a pretty darn good pitcher. What have you seen uh, looking at ASU uh, these last few weeks? They've struggled. They have been playing the, the upper half of the league. Right. So... It's not that surprising, but that, is there something different about them lately? No, I just think that that's exactly what we talked about when we were playing those teams. Mm -hmm. You're playing the good teams. Um, you're not going to put up the numbers you're going to put put up that you did earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. um, they're still a good team. They got a, they got a really good lineup. Um, you know, the, they're pitching. We'll see. You know, we're, we're facing Hansel. We haven't seen him this year. 
Um, he's a guy, with, another guy with good stuff, kind of like Aiden that hasn't had that much of an opportunity. So it'll be it'll be an interesting game. Last year, going into uh, the Pac-12 tournament, I think you guys lost the road series against USC. This time, you finished uh, against USC at home. For the right. Series. How do you feel about the momentum going into your last year? Yeah, well, we had lost um, to Oregon on the road. We got swept. So the, definitely, we have way more momentum with the Irvine win than two out of three against USC. Uh, we feel way better about ourselves. Uh, I know last year going in after losing three to Oregon, we were really unsure of whether we were going to get, you know, we, if we had to win a couple games. Turned out we did. Um, and it helped us get a number two seed in the tournament. So, like I said, if I think if we can, you know, obviously if we went out, we, we were the, the champions, we get the automatic bid. But I think even if we get to the semifinals or finals, we have a, we have a case to get into regionals. More questions? Thank you. For Thanks, guys.